It is true that most of us think that life is a race. And in order to justify it, we often cite Darwin's theory of natural selection, stating the struggle for existence and survival of the fittest. There is no doubt in the correctness of these theories. But the problem is with the definition of the word fittest. Many of us think that the one who is self-centered, one who only thinks and focuses on the well-being of himself or herself, is the so-called fittest. But in true sense, fittest is the one who knows to love, care and feel for others. Life is incomplete without the qualities of selfless love and friendship, compassion and empathy. In fact, Life may apparently appear as a race, but actually, life is a journey, not a race. Every moment in our life gives a new experience and lesson, irrespective of the fact that whether it brings happiness or sadness for us. Whatever we will do tomorrow would be greatly influenced by our past memories and experiences. You all have finished the schooling phase of your life and within a few days you all are going to leave. But your memories here in this school for the past 12 or 14 years would never leave you alone. The memories would guide you, encourage you and even fill your heart with joy and pleasure. While the wider world is bidding you welcome with arms wide open, we hope it would make you feel warm and cozy to have a walk down the memory lane before you set sail for a new adventurous voyage called life. Life is never easy. It is full of challenges and hurdles. Any kind of untoward incident may strike at any point of your life. The destructive wave of COVID-19 was unexpected to all of us. Within a span of just a few days, our lives changed. We were trapped in our homes like the birds in cages. Everything was closed. The school premises, which used to be once filled with the noise of the joyful hearts, was changed to almost an abandoned settlement. There were worries all around. Sounds of grief and sorrow engulfed the entire world. The education system collapsed. Devices like mobiles and laptops which were prohibited in schools, became the school itself. Science students were deprived of practical classes. The cordial relation between the teachers and the students suffered a major setback. And the social distancing that made us really unsocial to some extent. Cases of students suffering from depression and anxiety showed a sharp rise in them. This global issue will be possibly there in the near future as well. You all have witnessed this by yourselves. You all are part of an extremely unique batch that has experienced a major challenge in the most vital year of your school. And you all have successfully overcome this hurdle. This should provide you more strength and courage to deal with much bigger challenges in the future. The 
wider world is complex and full of people. But don't be afraid. Believe in yourself because we do believe in you that you have the ability to fight against all the odds. Believe in your ideals, believe in your values and believe in the teachings that you have received here. Focus on your work with honesty and dedication. Let the success run after you and not you after success.